Get your comments in the section below, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to miss this. We're discussing Carlos Soler on the West Ham Massive. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Welcome to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to drop a like on the stream. Put your comment in the section below. Share this to your social media platform. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. You'll get notified as soon as there's any new content that's uploaded to the channel. Thank you very much indeed for your support. So what we're going to discuss today is Carlos Soler. Now, this has been something that's been bubbling away in the background. And those of you that watched the previous video, that I did on Carlos Soler, which was about Friday, Saturday last week. We'll know that this has been something that we've been linked to this player for, for a little while, but it now appears that it's really gathering momentum now, really gathering pace. So for those of you that didn't see the previous video and are not overly familiar with the player, he's currently on the books at Paris Saint-Germain. He's a playmaker, central midfield type of player very similar to in style in style if not capability level to Lucas Paqueta so he's a Spanish international and he's played at the Olympics he got a silver medal at the Olympics he's played for Paris Saint-Germain for the last couple of seasons previously was at Valencia where he came through their academy system he can speak good English from what I understand he's he's a fan of Premier League football when he was growing up and he learned English in part, if not entirely, by watching Premier League footage that was played on Canal Plus when he was growing up back home in Spain. 27 years of age, so he's in or around his prime years, I would suggest. And it looks like his fellow countryman, Julien Le Petitgui, has his, name, has his eye on Carlos Soler. Carlos Soler has been a little bit of a bit part player since he's gone to Paris Saint-Germain. He, he doesn't tend to start an awful lot of games. He will come off and on as a substitute quite often. And for the games that he does start, he is very often the player that's sacrificed for another player. And in the summer, he's, he's had other players that have been brought into Paris Saint-Germain that will be direct competitors and probably push him down the pecking order, if we're being completely honest about it. Now, I, in the previous video, said about him being a, a replacement in the long term for Lucas Paqueta, and I still believe this to be the case. I think probably what what will happen in, in, the, in the immediate future, if we sign him, and it's looking increasingly likely that we will, is that he will come in and he will, he will be Lucas Paqueta's backup in, in the first instance. Um, Obviously, there's this thing hanging over him from the betting bits and bobs, you know, from that the sort of reared their ugly head at the beginning of, of last season and probably scuppered his move to Manchester City. I think it's a fairly well established fact that he was probably on the way and it was only that all these accusations and allegations came to the fore was probably what put the handbrake on Pep Guardiola pursuing his interest in the Brazilian international. Obviously, he then went on. He, he carried on last season, had a, had a decent season, if, if truth be told. Sometimes played out on the left-hand side, which is probably not his, his ideal position. But I think all things considered, he probably had a, a decent enough season under the former manager, David Moyes. And obviously, we went on to finish ninth and obviously a quarterfinals in the Europa League. Now. For me, I think that probably what will happen, like I say, is Carlos Soler will come in and play a, a second fiddle role to Lucas Paquetar. I have a suspicion at the end of this season, if not before, there will obviously be the judgment will be breached 
in the uh, the betting issue bet bet gate call it what you want packet our gate um it's always a gate isn't it there's always a gate involved anyway um it will probably be a, a decision will be reached if not at the end of the season possibly before now let's just suppose for a moment that it goes against Lucas Paquetar and he's found guilty and he's given some lengthy ban and he, we won't be seeing him in a West Ham shirt for the foreseeable if we ever see him in a West Ham shirt again after that point. So I think at that point it would be that Carlos Soler then replaces him in the, the sort of like immediate aftermath of that decision being reached. But even if he's exonerated, even if the charges are dropped, whatever, and there's nothing to see, I think it's quite likely that come this season's conclusion, it will probably be that Lucas Paquetar will then be moved on. And I think what will probably happen is that dovetailed in with that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, George Earthy, who's currently on loan at Bristol City, I suspect will be brought back to the club and will then be essentially second fiddle to Carlos Soler. But when I say second fiddle, it will probably be that the long-term aim will be to have George Earthy eventually move into a first-team role and eventually at some point take over from Carlos Soler. That's how I see the long-term strategy. That's what I believe that Julien Lopetegui and Tim Stein probably see as the long-term strategy. And this succession planning is completely correct. For too long, we've had this here and now mentality and just worrying about what we've got in front of us and not really looking down the track and wondering what, OK, well, this is what we've got now, but what do we need to replace it? What's the next cab off the rank? This is something that we've been guilty of in the past, of not preparing for future eventualities. So I think that this would be a good move in and of itself. Yes, he probably would come in as something of a of a player that's rotated in and around the current incumbent of the number 10 shirt. But long ter longer term, it will probably be he will take over from him. But again, he will probably be a bridge between Lucas Paquetar and his eventual replacement of George Earthy in the long term, that Carlos Soler will be the bridge between those two points. Good player. I think he's, he's potentially someone that will come in, offer good value for us when he's called upon. Um, but again, you've got a comment section below on all of these points. Get as much detail in below as you can. Just one other thing I'd just like to clear up because there was someone, I can't remember who it was. Please do forgive me. There was someone in one of the previous videos that noticed the backdrop has changed in the last few days. Basically, at the moment, I am in Amsterdam. I'm on a holiday and I know all the snarky comments are going to start. All sorts of accusations about I'm up to no good, skullduggery and shenanigans, and general nonsense going on. There's none of that going on, I can assure you, because my wife is here and she's making sure that I'm behaving myself. So for all of you that, that have wondered what the hell's going on and there was someone that wondered whether I was in a bathroom, rest assured, this isn't a bathroom. This is actually the help, the hotel room. It's just that this this wall is like a cork thing going on. I, I, I don't know. It is what it is. But anyway, that's that's what I just want to let you guys know, just in case there was anybody that was wondering what on earth was going on. Um, and if you wasn't, then I've just given you a little bit of useless information for you to get your teeth into. And if you want to make any comments in the section below about my trip to Amsterdam and what you probably believe I'm getting in up to, because I dare say your minds are running away with you, you dirty lot. Um, please do get them in in the comments section below. It'll give me something to have a little bit of a chuckle about when I'm back on the Eurostar heading back home tomorrow as I record this. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for your time and listening to me. As I say, get as much detail in the comments section. I'll get back to as many of you as I possibly can. Really do appreciate your input. Please don't forget, drop a like on the stream. Get your comments in in the section below. Share these two social media platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for a new, and you get the alerts for the new content, guys. Really do appreciate you helping to grow the channel. Keep going with it. Come on, you Irons, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on, you Irons.